I've had lots of jobs. Uh, I've had jobs. I've had real jobs. Um, I worked in prisons for 10 years. True story, I did work in prisons for 10 years. The, the, the scariest people I worked with in prisons, I'll be completely honest, were counsellors and psychologists. Those people, to me, were just fucking mental. They were, seriously, I had a counsellor say to me, I she said, Rob, you know, when you really listen to these people's stories and you hear where they've come from, sometimes it's hard to identify who truly is the victim. I mean, yeah. My money's on the dead guy. I, uh, yeah, fuck it, dead guy. Fuck it, dead guy. I, uh, I'm not going to change that. Yeah, so anyway, I had a, when I was working for prisons, I, had, I was in charge of an intractable unit. These are prisoners who had uh, been quite dangerous outside and inside the prison. About 16 of them locked up in this one unit. They never interacted with anyone else. And uh, I had this, uh, any other prisoners? Anyway. So I had this young um, counsellor come in in the unit one day and uh, she said, I'm just here to check on Frank. And I'm like, oh, well, what's going on? She said, oh, sorry. Frank's been doing an anger management course for the last six weeks. And I'm just wondering if you've noticed any behavioural changes since he started the course. And I'm well, funny you should mention that because just this morning, Frank and Spider were out in the yard playing basketball. And Frank took a shot from what he believed was outside the three point line. Now, Spider disagreed with us. They usually didn't result in a huge argument, flurry of punches, some of them seriously injured, not on this occasion. On this occasion, Frank and Spider both looked at each other and went, This is one point, isn't changing my life or yours. We both there for a long time, doing a long lag and hugged, and went back to playing. And she went, Really? Oh, wow. no. Dead. And uh, <laughs> he deserved it, he was well inside. Like, we all saw it. 